Hello friends, it's Carla, your online doctor with today's Live in 5. Today is Tuesday, September 22nd and it is 5 p.m. I missed you guys. I haven't seen you in a few days, so hopefully you missed me as well. Um, at the end of August, Florida's governor met with airline and car rental executives. He claimed airplanes have not been vectors when you see spread of the coronavirus. He claims airplane travel is completely safe. Now, is the evidence really so clear? Let's define vector, okay? A vector spreads a virus from location to location. Okay, well, we know airplanes have ferried infected passengers across the globe, making COVID-19 outbreaks more difficult to contain and also to contact trace. Okay, so a vector could be a person who is infected with the virus, gets onto an airplane and travels from Florida to England. And now they have brought the virus to England and can spread it all over there. Not to mention wherever they spread it here in Florida before they left, okay? So to put things in context, the governor seemed to be saying that being in an airplane is safe, not that people who are infected traveling and spreading the virus doesn't happen, okay? So clearly we know that that does happen, especially for asymptomatic carriers or people who just don't follow the rules. So the governor's office cited the Florida Department of Health contact tracing program that has not yielded any patients contracting COVID while traveling by airplane. Of course, the contact tracing program <laughs> has been through lots of controversy that it is understaffed and ineffective. So that information um, may not be completely accurate. But so, for example, ineffective in that not contacting 22 out of 27 people, for example, according to CNN. So there were 27 people that should have been contacted and 22 of them said nobody called them to find out who they were in contact with. Again, does that happen all the time? I have no idea. But you can only assume that contact tracing is not a perfect uh, science or a perfect, a perfect whatever, you know, business because it's just a very complicated process. But that said, it should be a lot better than 22, that only five out of 27. So now on the whole, airplanes generally have good air quality. But experts say the risk for infection depends largely on the policies that the airlines have in place regarding seating, masking, and boarding. So it's not just the air quality, it's what certain airlines are doing better than others. Now if passengers are screened, masks are enforced, and spacing between seats is enforced, experts say the risk of getting COVID on a plane is relatively low which is a good thing. Airplanes are equipped with HEPA filters designed to capture 99.97% of airborne particles, which substantially reduces the risk of viral spread. Again, we've all traveled on airplanes for years and you know people have cold and there's always the kid with the coughing and sneezing behind you that you don't get sick, right? I mean, maybe you take extra measures to wash your hands and you know, hopefully the kid isn't directly behind you. But in the past, most of us have traveled pretty safely without getting sick. So again, it is relatively low, but uh, things to consider. The airplanes um, completely change air in the entire chamber. It changes over 10 to 12 times per hour, raising the air quality above that of a normal building. Okay, so because of this, it's unlikely to catch COVID-19 from someone several rows away from you. However, you could still catch it from someone sitting close to you, right? So the greatest risk is if the person is next to you or immediately in front, or in my opinion, worse, if they're behind you because they're coughing and all of their stuff is moving forward in your direction. So if airplanes are not keeping the middle seats open, for example, or vigilantly enforcing masks, throughout the flight, um, flying could put you at risk. Now, people come on the plane with their masks on, and then how do you enforce they keep the mask on? You can't kick them off the flight mid midway. I mean, that would just be unethical. 
<laughs> so what do you do at that point? I know there are people who've told me they've flown and people have refused to keep their mask on. And then the airlines are banning them from future travel. Now, does that mean um, all airlines will? Maybe they go on some special blacklist and they're not allowed to travel any anymore by airplane. I don't know how that works. If you do, go ahead and put it in the comments. Um, because, again, for the future people that might be in contact with this particular person, it's helpful. But for you at that moment, if they're on the plane and they refuse to put their mask back on, there's very little recourse that you have. Currently, the airlines, um, I found keeping middle seats open that are continuing to keep middle seats open are Delta, Southwest, and JetBlue. Okay, all the others, and I have friends in some airlines that work for some airlines saying, no, they are packing the planes if they can. Traveling is still risky, in my opinion. Anything that puts you in close contact with more people, especially indoors, is going to increase your risk. Now, the risk of flying is not just the plane. Okay, there's also checking in, there's the security and waiting at the gate, and then, of course, boarding the plane. That, I think, is when um, the ventilation system is actually off and people are not distant and they're passing by one another. And to me, that's probably the riskiest time for transmission. So I don't know which airlines are making an effort to board from the back of the plane forward and enforcing that so that there isn't a crossing of people or at least a minimal crossing of people. Again, overall flying and contracting COVID is the risk is low, especially if everybody is following the rules. Again, this was just an interesting thing that I found and I thought I would share. So if you're traveling or plan to travel in the coming months, share in the comments um, which airline you're traveling on and what your measures are going to be you want to share um, to keep yourself safer if you can again you know we know all the things that we do on a daily basis I have a friend and she wears a mask she wears a shield she wears gloves and she doesn't leave her seat so you know doesn't take it off doesn't eat doesn't drink <laughs> so I don't know not that I'm looking forward to airplane peanuts but I certainly wouldn't want to be feeling like I have to keep it on the entire time because you are in that closed space, but to each his own. So on that note, I hope you guys are having an awesome day, and I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow for another Live in 5.